Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing really well. So back today to do the booktube birthday tag because as of the 20th of May I have been on booktube for four years which feels really wild to say. I <laughs> I've said before I wanted to do booktube for such a long time and it felt like it took forever for me to get to the point of doing videos so the fact that it has now been four years just seems quite unreal but I have had a really great time this past four years so let's have a quick look at these questions and dig into my experience so far. Question number one is how many years on booktube are you celebrating? So as I say I have been doing these videos for four years. I started in the midst of the pandemic because I did kind of think to myself if not now when. I'd wanted to do it for such a long time but always put it off for different reasons. Some of them to do with tech, some of them to do with just general anxiety but I did think to myself you know you've got this long stretch of time where you're not working where you can't go anywhere when else are you going to have such a vast amount of free time and so eventually I did pluck up the courage and I'm so so glad that I did. Question number two is what has kept you motivated to continue making videos? I know everybody always says the community for this and that is definitely true I have made so many fantastic friends from making booktube videos but also the truth is that now that I've started I can't see myself stopping. I do go on breaks every now and then but there is never any question when I have these breaks that I am definitely going to come back and I don't know what it is I can't even really vocalize what that reason is but you basically are going to have to drag me kicking and screaming from this platform. This is just as much a part of my life as anything else. Question number three is what are three of your favorite videos that you've made in the past year and why? So videos that I've made since May 2023. I will say I feel like I've had a little bit of a turning point this year in terms of making videos that I really really want to make, videos that I would want to watch myself. You know the spring summer of 2023 was a little bit of a rough time for me and it took a while to get back on board but I feel quite proud of the videos I've made in 2024 so far, including my 50 romance books video where I kind of rank the 50 different romance books that I've read since I started booktube back in May 2020. Not a video that I know a lot of people have watched but one that I was proud to make, as well as the classics to read in your 20s video. This is one that has been in the back of my mind for a couple of years now that I wanted to make. I was basically waiting until I read The Blue Castle by Ellen Montgomery because I kind of knew that was going to be one that would feature but I didn't want to mention it until I'd actually read it. But yeah, now I've done that video, I'm really pleased. And then basically any individual book review that I have done, I am proud of. I know I mention it a lot, but I am quite scared to do individual book reviews. Just the scripting process, wanting to make sure I have all of my thoughts down, is just a little bit of a scary moment for me, but I'm glad that I've pushed through and kept on doing them. Question number four is, what have you struggled with on booktube in the past year and how did you overcome that struggle? Generally keeping on top of videos. I know a lot of people just like to post videos as and when they make them. Myself I do like to set myself a fairly strict schedule of Tuesday and Friday videos and I like to have a backlog because I find that any time that I am very close to the wire with publishing videos to that schedule I get really stressed and when I am down to the wire with hosting videos I find that I'm not as creative as I would like to be with the kind of videos that I'm making, the ideas that I'm having, whereas when I have a backlog of videos I feel like I can be a little bit freer, a little bit more creative so even though the videos that I'm making are usually posting a month after I've scheduled them I tend to feel a lot prouder of those videos. And Another thing that I'd struggled with in the last 12 months was generally feeling comfortable filming in the space that I was living in. Especially in my old house I was on a floor where I shared walls with two other people. There was my bedroom in the middle and then one person on this side, one person behind me and we all worked in the house at some points. The walls were very very thin and because I am somebody who kind of trips up over my words a lot of the time I have to go back and refilm something. I just felt very very anxious and awkward about filming in front of people and so one thing that I did that solved that problem was that I moved. <laughs> An easy fix. Not the only reason that I moved but one benefit of moving is that I now just share a wall with one person and that one person tends to not work from home and if he does he doesn't tend to do it from his bedroom. The main time that I do tend to film is either on weekends or more likely it will be on the days that I'm working from home during lunch hour and so yeah I'm not as worried about people hearing me because people aren't around. It's great. And also in terms of getting that backlog of videos sorted I've really been utilizing my weekends and bank holidays etc to get a big backlog of videos filmed and scheduled. I know that's not accessible to everybody but you know as, as a solo agent, as somebody who does not have their own family to have to look after during weekends, the only person it affects if I spend all weekend like filming, editing and scheduling videos is me and I don't tend to mind. I quite like having a weekend to myself to work on projects like that. You know I don't feel deprived by that. Obviously you know as I get older, as my life situation may or may not change, I may have to cut back on my videos but for now I feel really proud. I feel really happy and content with where my channel is going and the kind of videos that I'm putting out and so yeah I'm hoping the next year is even better. 
question number five is choose one moment from the past year on booktube that you would love to relive and i think the standout highlight has been the two bookshop crawls that we did over the past 12 months in august and in march organized by katie over at books and things but both times we had over 20 booktubers just walking around london going into different bookshops and it was such a lovely lovely experience and so the next time that we have one i will definitely want to be there question number six is shout out a huge supporter of your channel as i say there have been many many lovely friends i have made over this year as well as friends that i've had from previous years one person i particularly wanted to shout out was emily over at novel novels who has been just such a sweetheart this past year i met her in person in march of 2023 at katie's book launch and yeah i can't sing her praises enough she's just been so so lovely to me and i always smile when i see her name in my comment section she's just awesome question number seven is what's the best book that you've read in this past year in the past 12 months i think the best book that i have read has been the temple of fortuna by ellie d harper i've been singing this book's praises since i read it back in february but this is the final book in the wolf den trilogy and i just think that this series got better and better with every book the ending left me both satisfied and wanting more at the same time but i was really really pleased with how this panned out question number eight is where do you see your channel in a year's time and what do you hope to have achieved basically i hope i am still here still cracking out videos as i say you're gonna have to drag me kicking and screaming in terms of personal goals you know none of these are hard and fast rules goals that i'll be disappointed if i haven't met but you know for the fun of the tag for the fun of the video i would really love to get back to doing three videos a week consistently it's something i've been flirting with the idea of but i started my channel doing three videos a week but as i say this was back in lockdown where i didn't have a job and so when i started my job back in february 2021 i dropped down to doing two videos a week and i think that's fairly understandable as i was getting a hold of my schedule but in the back of my mind i always thought that i would get my schedule sorted in such a way that i'd be able to get back to doing three videos a week once i've just organized my brain and that unfortunately didn't happen particularly in 2022 i took on another commitment that i absolutely should not have done which completely took up a lot of my time including time that i would have spent on doing my normal tuesday friday videos and almost meant that i couldn't fulfill that let alone doing a sunday video as well however i am kind of thinking that if i am very rigorous with keeping up a backlog of videos and if i do like regular catch-up videos then maybe getting back to three times a week might be possible but I don't know. I don't know if I can hold myself to that. That might be a little bit tricky. At the time of filming, I am quite close to 3,000 subscribers. So I think I'm pretty much on track to getting to that number. And it'd be quite nice to be on the way to 4K by this time next year. I'd also like to take fewer, longer breaks. But with this all in mind of wanting to do three videos a week and wanting to take fewer breaks, then maybe one of those things will have to give. Because I can't imagine doing three videos a week consistently and not getting at least a tiny, tiny bit burnt out. I don't know. Especially on weeks where I've got a lot of things going on with Musical Theatre Society. I don't know how realistic that would be, but we'll see how we go. And then question number nine is to tag someone whose anniversary is coming up. And I don't know whose anniversary is coming up. So I'm going to leave that open to anybody who has got their booktube anniversary either late May, June, July. Feel free to say that I tagged you in this, but this has been really good fun. I'm so glad that I did start my channel when I did. I'm glad to be doing another year. I look forward to seeing you in the comment section and I hope you have a really great day. Thanks. Bye.